Hi, this is an update of my renamed uh, snag uh, tank. It used to be uh, an Iwagumi themed tank. In fact, that's what it used to be called, Iwagumi 60P, but uh, with the addition of that, got away from that particular kind of theme. Uh, that's a cluster of guava roots that I super glued together and then added some uh, trident java fern in the center there and had it nestled against the uh, Black River rock there. I've uh, trimmed back a lot of the pearl weed as you can see. Uh, a little bit lower stature and then you can kind of see with the HC it's kind of blending in now but uh, it came up in sections and so I had to replant this is the earlier section it's nice and full now and then over here uh, it's filling in but um, I allowed it to uh, get a little thick um, the little neos that I have in here, the wild neos, kind of tunneled underneath and helped to lift the carpet and it came up in sections so I had to uh, replant in sections. It's kind of an ongoing thing I guess uh, with the uh, little neos. Another thing I did with this tank is I've added a couple of new plants in there. There they are. Bucephalandria. Uh, the one that's to the right is Titan. Bucephalandria, uh, commercial name Titan. And then on the one on the left, it's only a single leaf, kind of uh, melted a little bit, but it's coming back. Uh, Bucephalandria, pretty hardy. That's a sherry. Uh, both of these have been descri described scientifically, and I don't have the names offhand. I'll probably put it in the text. Closer look at the Java fern, the trident Java fern, and of course the cardinal tetras and uh, emperor tetras. That one's a Pretty sure it's a male. It's got a little bit more iridescent color and the adipose fins dark, whereas the, on the females they're kind of a light brown. Okay, renamed Snag.